Hey, welcome to the Summer Size family. Boy, you guys are really creating kind of a revolution. I hope you're feeling well, doing well. Wanted to extend my blessings to each one of you who are going through challenges during the holiday season. And our prayers, our thoughts, and our efforts are going to be in your behalf. I um, also want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. And for the rest of you, a very happy holidays. So with that, um, what we're going to do tonight is talk a little bit about the characteristics of a trifold cellar sizer, a little difference about the cellar sizer itself. We're going to read some incredible customer reviews, keep them coming. You know, it, it makes a difference. I've been doing this now for 30 years. I don't think there's any better form of exercise out there than cellar size. And if you want to do other exercise, that's great. Go ahead. But if you're doing cellar size as part of your overall program, you're going to have a better experience. You just will. Cellar size, for those who don't know, it's all weight bearing, not weight lifting. Not working. <laughs> Is it on now? Mm -hmm. How much did they hear? They heard it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Because I wish everybody a happy holiday again. We really want you to have a and enjoy a, a, a wonderful holiday season as much as we can and with the conditions that we're faced with. And that's debatable, uh, I know. Um, but one thing about cellar size, as we're moving up and down, for those that don't, it's like an internal scrub brush. The movement up and down moves the fluid up and down through the body, back flushing bowels, opening up capillaries, opening up circulation, increasing oxygen blood flow to the brain, activating the lymphatic system. It's all weight bearing, again, not weight lifting. So the increase of weight is on every muscle all at the same time. Your body grows stronger in a balanced state, not in an imbalanced state. The implications of that in any activity is enormous. And we're going to, during this next year, we're going to be talking more and more about that in the various different activities that you can apply cellar size to. But for the majority of us, just getting on that cellar size every day and gently moving up and down challenges our balance and equilibrium. The different movements help to challenge rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination. The different movements that we can do can target the knees, the hips, the back, the shoulders, digestion, elimination processes, cellulite, weight loss, increased metabolism, opening up bronchial tubes and lungs. We're going to talk a little bit about that because for those of you um, who are new, a month ago, I had the COVID-19. Um, I've lost two friends. They both died. They're younger than I am from the COVID. So we hear a lot of stories. I don't know what's really true and what isn't true. What I do know is that I think this cellar sizer played a huge role in my, my recovery quickly, um, opening up the bronchial tubes and the lungs again, and just feeling 100%. And that's something I want all of you to be able to do too. So if you end up going through this, there are different approaches we can take on the cellar sizer to help mitigate the, the symptoms and conditions that we're having to deal with concerning the COVID-19. And the bronchial tubes and the lungs, I, I tell you that what's interesting is when you cellar size, you increase the ability of the immune system to function more efficiently, recognizing the viruses and the germs and strengthening the cell membrane so they're more resistant because it's all weight bearing. So as we get on the cellar sizer, and I, I just want to show this real quick, Brooklyn. When I, when I had the COVID, it was in my lungs and I had the pneumonia and I had the, the, the fevers and, and I wasn't feeling real good, but it wasn't as bad as some people, I, I'm sure but I still had to go through it. And so the breathing technique that I would take when I couldn't take a deep breath were just shallow breaths. The movement up and down moves the fluid up and down to help prevent the blood cells from getting sticky or for, from um, uh, hopefully preventing the blood clots from occurring because the movement up and down keeps those blood cells separated, oxygenated and energized. And we can see that underneath microscopes and we've done that. The breathing technique that I did, which I think really helped initially, were just shallow breaths because I couldn't take a deep breath. So it would just be in an attempt to just break, and it didn't feel good, but it was an attempt to break up the fluid. And again, about 10, 
five to ten minutes later, I was getting rid of fluid and out of the lungs, and I felt better, and I could breathe. So there's different ways, I suppose, you could do that. I chose the cellarcizer. And now the bronchial tubes and lungs, you know, I can take deep breaths, and I'm working my way into seeing how, how strong I can make the lungs and the bronchial tubes with the cellarcizer, because what I'm about to show you is the technique I designed on the cellarcizer many, many years ago. And it, it changed the sound of my bronchial tubes and the lungs. They became very opened up, but initially they were quite wheezy. wheezy. <clears throat> and that's very common with a lot of people. And if you hear my voice as I'm talking, one of the other perks or advantages of the cellar sizer is it helps to open up the larynx, diaphragmatic breathing, getting to the other one-third of the lungs that most people don't, don't get enough oxygen to anyway. And the pumping action helps to activate the lymph system all throughout the chest cavity area. And the pumping action helps to increase the oxygen. So this throughout the bloodstream. So this movement here, phenomenal movement, but go easy on it because it is an exercise. And for a great many people, including me when I began, the bronchial tubes and lungs are going to be a little sensitive when you first begin. So you start off easy. You may only do it half a dozen times when you begin. But it <clears throat> goes like this. And when I'm done, you can hear the difference in the voice. That's just, I'm not changing anything. The diaphragmatic breathing and in the opening up the bronchial tubes in the lungs is just, a, <clears throat> it's just wonderful. If you're a radio announcer, a singer, a performer, or your voice is important to you, that really breaks, that really opens things up. So um, what we're going to do now, we're going to read some of the beautiful customer reviews. We're going to answer some questions. If you have questions, I'd like you to, to encourage you to go ahead and write them in. Um, Brooklyn is here and she's taking notes and she can share some of those those questions with me. Um, want to say hi to Sally and Stephanie and you know thank you for all the work you're doing in the industry as well and to thank Christine for uh, supporting us and helping to get these videos edited and out to to all of us as, as soon as possible so we can share it with our family friends and and health practitioners. All right, so this one, December 13th from Rick, he says, In the two weeks that I've had and used my solar sizer, I found Dave is exactly right about the health bounce. It looks so simple, so elementary, and yet, no matter how unmotivated I feel morning or evening to do my solar sizer routine, 15 seconds of the health bounce changes everything. Thank you, Rick. I want to comment on that. I tell people, if you can do nothing more then get up on the cellar sizer. The best wake up call you can give yourself every morning, I believe, is to get on that cellar sizer for two minutes. If you can only do two minutes, get on it for two minutes. That's what activates the lymph system. That's what stimulates the thyroid and the adrenals. That's what helps to jumpstart the body for the day. It, and it, and it's, it's a great, great feeling. But after those two minutes, it's a good, you're, you're in a different state anyway. And there's a good chance you're going to want to do more. So he's absolutely right. A second thing the health balance does psychologically is when I try a new, more intense exercise and get winded or lactic acid buildup, all I have to do is drop into a gentle health bounce and rest and recuperate and know that I am not slacking off but continuing to do something that has a positive impact on my body. And that's true. That's a win-win. At 71, I think we should listen to him, I've gained so much in terms of leg strength and balance, far more than I ever dreamed that first day. And remember, that's exactly what's happening. Moving up and down challenges our vestibular balance. At any age, it has nothing to do with age. We're not born with balance anyway. It's a physiological function. We have to challenge it. We challenge it, we get better at it. Far more than I ever dreamed the first day. It says I could not bounce on one leg, too weak and uncomfortable. My right hip was painful, so I backed off into the health bounce. The next day, hops were less painful. Today, I'm doing 150 hops on each leg straight while holding the other leg as high as I can in front, back, and side. This is strengthening my core hips and legs so that in a few weeks or months, I can do kickouts. I saw Dave's suggestion on neck and spine stretches while health bouncing, including the backward lean a few days ago, and I've incorporated all of those. I'm feeling a real difference already. 
the bicep tricep combos and chest pull pushes while health bouncing I've also started. I understand why some folks on Facebook call, Facebook call Seller Sizer magic. I also appreciate Dave's positive take on chiropractors. Good chiropractors have helped, have helped me over the years. But the problem was I didn't have an efficient way to strengthen the muscles around the rearranged bones to hold them in place. And this is why I work with chiropractors. Now I do. 15 days, 26 sessions. I missed two days this week with a bad sinus infection. Cold was in lymph overflow. <laughs> that can happen. It can be a detox too. And I am stronger, more stable, have no lingering hip pain. I haven't lost much weight, but my whole torso is tighter and I keep automatically tucking in my stomach. Good. Tighten that stomach. As you build all your protein fibers, every time you apply weight to the protein fibers, all those cells fortify the membrane with more protein because they don't want to rupture. And so your muscle to fat ratio starts to change, even though it may, your, your weight may not look like it's changing. Usually it is, and it's starting from the inside out because cellular size isn't working from the outside in like typical exercises often do. Okay, the simplicity of the health bounce also makes it the perfect relaxing exercise. As Dave says, when I'm grading papers and nearly burned out, I can go into the sunroom and bounce for a few minutes and then I'm ready to go back to grading. Great video. Looking forward to the next 11 days, Rick. Rick, keep us posted. If you have any questions at all, if any of you do, I mean, there's so many different approaches with cellular size. Cellular size is very helpful at exposing weaknesses, but because it's not jarring, it has resistance, but that's different. It's not jarring. Jarring is how we damage the body. And this is often the case with typical rebounders. They can either be too soft, in which case your feet are pronating and your knees are pronating. And over time, your knees get worse and worse and your ankles get worse and worse. And you're wondering what's going on. And, and you, you don't realize that as you're jumping up and down, the feet are leveraging the weight against the ligaments and tendons in the knees. If the unit is too stiff or jarring and you alter the angle of your body, and you don't have the proper support that da can damage the body as well. The cellular sizer has the tridaptable spring design. It's patented technology. It has a larger diameter in the middle of the spring, a ridge where it tapers, and then another ridge where it tapers again. And the purpose of that is so it doesn't matter whether you're a year old or well over 100. The cell, and we've got customers that are all those categories. The cellular sizer can work for everybody. You'll utilize that portion of the spring you need based upon how much you weigh or how high you're jumping. So it's a self-adjusting, adaptable, adaptable spring design. But more than anything else, it gives results. And after doing this for 30 years, you're hearing some of our customers, some of them 15, 20 years plus, they're sharing with you true to life stories and experiences on the Solar Sizer. And we want to encourage all of you to continue to do this and because it makes a difference to those who are listening. All right. Hi, Dave. This is from Fred. Oh, <laughs> I was watching the live broadcast tonight and I wasn't able to get on the live one. And when you were discussing the bu building muscle and showed a live example, I remind, it reminded me of Charles Atlas and his exercise system that he developed in the, in the fifties. He never used weights or any other thing to gain his incredible physique and strength. He called his movement, the system dynamic tension. I remember it from when my older brother bought Charles Atlas's system in the early 60s. And for some reason, that name stuck with me. I did find his course online a long time ago and forgotten about it until recently when you showed your exercise. Here is a screenshot of his one page showing the dynamic tension that you described. Can you imagine what he would look like if he had your cellar sizer? Laugh out loud. Thanks again for a quality product, Fred. Thank you, Fred. All right. This is from Ann. Ann says, <clears throat> I just did a word search on natural news website for incontinence. And the first article that came up was entitled reverse urinary incontinence naturally with a rebounder. I would put the link up, but his website is banned on Facebook. Anyway, it's not me. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was really neat. 
At the end of the article, the author cautions against cheap rebounders also. My husband and I have been solarizing since the end of September. He is experiencing much decreased lower back pain, something he's suffered with for years, and increased flexibility. Call me if you have any questions on that, because there are specific movements we can do to help with the, the back. My incontinence is a little more stubborn, but seems to be getting somewhat better. Cellar size is weight-bearing even on the sphincter muscle that controls bladder and even the sphincter muscle in our, our stomach area. Patience will prevail. Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Trey writes, <clears throat> A material possession I just can't live without for the last 15 plus years. Thank you, Dave. And from an ex-runner that didn't know what he was going to do when I was forced to stop running because of hip, ankle, knee issues from running. This gorgeous piece of equipment was a godsend for my body, mind, and soul. Bless you. Keep up the great work. And thank you, Trey. And, you know, thank you all for keeping up the great work. You're the ones sharing this. You're the ones making the difference. And I'm, I'm grateful to be able to play a part with you. Yes, he's just starting. When you first begin, and this is common with people that have had vertigo as well, I have never personally known anyone who began cellarizing, who, who maintained, and you start off lightly, but within a month still di didn't have the, I mean, the vertigo was either, it didn't bother them as long as they continued to cellarize, or it bothered them very, very little. When we get on a cellarizer and we start to move up and down, so does all the fluid in our body. The movement up and down also can take the brain, which over time, gravity is always pulling down. The brain can settle in the skull. It gets loose. It sits down. We move up and down. So does the brain. It takes about two to three weeks for those connective tissues surrounding the brain to firm up through the movement up and down. And, and then we can do a lot more aggressive movements. But initially, that increase of fluid movement and circulation back to the brain with the brain moving up and down, yeah. That can, um, that creates a lot, uh, there's several things occurring, including more oxygen and, and blood flow to the brain through the one-way valves. So no high jumping when you begin, and you if you're dealing with those issues. Just gentle moving up and down. Hold on to that balance bar. If you're concerned about it, have somebody there with you. But that movement up and down is going to challenge the balance mechanism, and open up and increase circulation. Let me know after two to three weeks. Um, how you feel, if you can be consistent with that. All right. Karen and Cliff. Cliff and I have been super fans of Cellar Sizer since 2017. We tell everyone that it's the best home exercise equipment out there. We've purchased three for our family and have friends considering getting one. We heard something about authorized representatives. Is there something that you can tell us more about that? Yes, if you want to be an affiliate, if you go to our website, sellersize.com, scroll all the way to the bottom to the link where it says become an affiliate. It will tell you how you can become an affiliate. Once you become an affiliate, you will get a link. And that link is something you can share with your family and friends. When you share your link with your family and friends, say use this link because you will get the upgraded $40 DVD and the new exercise guide as part of the package at no additional cost. So it's an upgrade. We want to encourage that. We don't advertise that on our site unless it's like a Christmas special or something unique. But, but you, um, as an affiliate, can always sell it with the upgraded $40 DVD and that new fold-out exercise guide. So, and then and what happens is that once they use your link, then um, if they buy a half-fold solar sizer with a balance bar or just half-fold solar sizer, after 30 days, in the following 30 days, we process checks, and you'll get a check for $40 for a half-fold solar sizer and $50 for a trifle. It's not a lot, but this is growing. And as it grows, it becomes, it's, it's fun. And it's just a way that we can say, hey, let's, let's all be in this together, because we are. So we make that available. Um, we have at least one friend, our physical therapist, who is also planning to order. 
And I love working with physical therapists, and I've developed a number of routines with physical, in conjunction with physical therapists, which are very, very helpful for shoulders, back, knees, um, hips, and your. You'll see most of those on our website. But again, if you have that issue, give me a call, or I'd be happy to talk to your doctor um, to share a program that can be used for consideration. Okay. So this one here is from Ron. Ron says, Hi Dave, just wanted to thank you for sending me the metal hooks. I placed them in the cellar size, it was working just great. We had um, some of the metal hooks, the, we call them bullhorns on the, on the mat, had actually, I don't know if they got jumped on or if they were weak when they were made, but they bent and so we just, I don't put up with that, we just sent out some new ones. <laughs> And if that ever happens, I'll do the same with you. I don't think I would be able to walk without making it my daily routine. That's a big statement. I have poor circulation in my legs to where I was, it was forming brown spots on my lower parts of my legs. The brown spots went away and it has put circulation back in my legs to where I can walk normally again. I also can literally feel the circulation up in my head when I get to the last five minutes of my exercises. I exercise 15 minutes in the morning after I wake up and 15 minutes before I go to bed at night. Without that, I literally would not be able to function. It has also helped me with my, with his, I think he's got a fibrillator, helped me with my fib and also opening up my lungs to where I can breathe better. Is I, AFib? AFib, yep. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Brooklyn. Top of her class, by the way. <laughs> Studying in nursing, proud of her. I hate to exercise, and when my brother brought this cellar size to the house to exercise, I figured, I could do that. The rest is history. Laugh out loud. <laughs> thank you once again, my friend. And thank you again, too, Ron. And did we read this one? This one, I think we read this one here. Rebounding has helped my four-year-old autistic grandson so much. And we deal a lot, a, a lot with autistic children. And it has been a lifesaver for several people. And it can be challenged, but it's well-built. And so um, if a part were to be broken or a spring were to be broken, everything is replaceable. Um, and sometimes people are jumping pretty hard and pretty high on that, and, but it's a release and it helps create balance mentally and I believe chemically as well. Okay, I'm a cancer beater. I love rebounding. I love your videos. Thank you for all you do to help people get and stay healthy, Linda. Thank you, Linda. True story, DMV failed my vision test. A year later, I got an exam and OD says, I don't need glasses. Jacqueline. All right, Jacqueline. Thank you for sharing it. Um, we read that one. Don't know if we read this one. This is, I just want to send a shout out and share how blessed I am that my cellar sizer is always there for me to address anything I need. Pain, tension, aches, soreness, cardio, stretching, strength training, stress, and the list goes on and on. It's my non-human best friend and one of my top five must-haves in life. I agree with that. I'm so thankful that I never have to go a day without it and have been happily united since 6 4 of 20. I mean, I changed my name for it and everything. My name is... Jenna, and I'm proud to be part of the Cellar Sizer family. And she changed her name from, looks like, Soleil. But um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that, guys. Um, wow. Okay. Those are questions. Got one more. This last week, you know, people often ask me, 
about the bungee cord units, and we're going to talk a little bit about it right now. And we've got people that we've adopted into the Sellersizer family that use bungee cords, and I'm not here to disparage it. That's not my objective. I'm here to help you understand there is a difference, though, and in the support and the kind of things that you can do with it. So we had an incredible customer who, um, who really took it upon herself to demonstrate and exercise on a Bellicon and then do the same thing on a Cellar Sizer. She's given us permission to put her video up. And so we have a video that we'll be putting up on our, our website. But I wanted to read to you a little bit about what she had to share. And the whole purpose of this is just to make sure that you have the support you need, you don't injure yourself, and you have a good experience. Because some of the movements that we do on a cellar sizer are probably not very appropriate or, or supported well on, on uh, this case that's a Bellicon. It says, good morning, y'all. I just want to take a moment to do a real unsolicited and unbiased experience of Bellicon versus cellar sizer. And I've already tried jump sport next to cellar sizer when I didn't know if I was going to do go bungees or springs and already narrowed down the springs option to cellar sizer, but felt I needed to compare them together to make a fully informed decision. If Dave Hall cellar size never existed, I said I'd choose jump sport. And that was before getting my hands on a Bellicon this week marketplace. I still stand by jump sport 550 as a top bungee option. And that's because I could adjust the bungees to come close enough to my cellar sizer to find it is as an acceptable option. Changing the tension on those bungees was a brutal experience for the fingers. So while the option to accommodate most weight sizes for various users is there, it's nice knowing the cellar sizer's tridaptable springs does that for me and it's automatic. Knowing I'll never have to replace a worn out part on my cellar sizer is also very comforting. But just in case there's a Random need to. Seller Sizer wants to make sure they send you two. We two, send two extra springs with every unit we send out. Just in case somebody, if they're jumping high and they land on top of a spring, that's how it can fracture a spring. I've never broken a spring in my entire life and I've been seller sizing daily for 30 years. Rather than having us to go a moment without our seller sizer, we've got those two extra springs waiting for arrival for a replacement or the very rare chance that you need to replace a spring. For what it's worth, the used cellar sizer I found for mom that I drove 50, 90 minutes away each way for is about 14 years old. The 84 year old lady that had it treated it her, herself, treated herself to a trifold. <laughs> All right. The bat seems to have had a cat or something that also appreciated it because there are little runs in the mat. That's all right. It's calendars. So those, those things won't run. It just, we had, I had a customer whose kids took the cellar sizer out brand new, put it up against a tree and at an angle, and they threw rocks at it all day. Came home with all these little pinholes in it. And I said, it's not going to hurt. It'll, you can still use it. But uh, he ended up getting a new mat anyway. So it just bothered, bothered him to look at it. So mom has never noticed them. And the mat is so well made that I wouldn't notice if my OCD <laughs> didn't kick in for me to fully evaluate a 14-year-old unit. <laughs> Good for you. I use it all the time when I visit with her in the evenings in the living room. I called the cellar size office to see if I should replace it, and they told me, only if you want to spend the money for no reason. That says something right there. <laughs> Is Bellicon a good rebounder? Yep. If you want to catch more air and have an outdoor trampoline experience indoors and feel like a kid again and a decent cardio workout if that's your only need. But why for the price? Solar Sizer can provide the same, better if I'm being honest, cardio option, only more stability. The mat is much more receptive and overall responsive for what I need, need it for. Catching air on it, if that's important, isn't a strength in comparison, but since catching air isn't what I consider an advantage, I'm still struggling to see any advantage that Bellicon has over Solar Sizer. There just isn't any comparison. My muscles were hardly engaged on the Bellicon versus full resistance training on my cellar sizer. And the reason for that is that jumping high doesn't do a lot. I mean, trampolines, you can jump high too, and you can jump high and do tricks. On the bungee cord, you can jump high, but your cells aren't doing anything. They're just floating for a longer period of time. 
On a cellar sizer, your, and that's what it's for, it's for fitness. On a cellar sizer, your cells are flexing many more times per minute. The lymph system is pumping many more times per minute because it's more intense, but that's what it's built for. It's, it's not built for jumping high. You can, but you, that's, that's for tricks and for big trampolines. And so that's why we built the cellar sizer glute we did. Um, I feel like my cellar sizer is sitting there saying, what are we doing today? Because whatever it is, I'm ready. And you can throw all the curveballs at me and I've still got you, honey, no matter what. <laughs> Bellicon says, oh, hey, I wasn't ready for you. Are you ready to jump? I've got you covered if you want to jump and even if you want to catch air. Bottom line, cellar sizer is without a doubt the best there is. Hands down, I was honestly blown away at how Bellicon gets so much rave. I know LNR is a good dupe for Bellicon and almost went with them solely based on price, but that story was an epic fail by customer service and I consider it a blessing in disguise because it was rolled out from the four rebounders and narrowed down to after months of research. This is unsolicited. I wrote her and I said, hey, after reading this, I said, would you mind if I shared this with our cellar size family? Because I think it's, it's helpful to know. Um, the whole objective of what I, when I started this, People, the bungee cord units were around the 70s and then they just fizzled out. And people went to steel springs. Well, it, initially they were fine. And then cheap steel springs started to be produced. And if the steel in the spring is not strong enough, then it stretches out or doesn't have enough movement or enough support, you just sink. And if that's the case and you don't get the benefit of what we're working to achieve, which you can on, on the solar side. Okay, so those are customer reviews. Let me read some questions and feel free to keep those questions coming in. Um, Brooklyn, if, if you have any more, let me know. Thanks. It says, would you please discuss using one, two, and three pound hand weights, bungee stretching bars, resistance bands, while health bouncing? Thank you. Well, I, I feel... You know, a, a lot like um, what was mentioned earlier with regards to Charles Atlas. Why? I mean, you can. You can. I don't. Um, I just do resistance movements. I use my own strength. That way I'm not going to um, put too much stress or tension on a ligament or a tendon. And when I'm cellar-sizing using my own strength, I don't hurt myself. I've tried using weights before. And I went through probably two months of working on my shoulders and in the, the scapula area because of what it had done. When you're jumping with weight, whatever that weight is, it say it's two pounds, it's not two pounds when you're jumping with it. It's a lot more. And if it's leveraged in the wrong position, you can cause some real tendon problems. So I just do the resistance movements. I never see a dog, a cat, or a monkey, or any other species of animal using weights or bungee cords or any dynamic tension exercise equipment. They use their own weight and they, they jump and they hang from trees and they would do whatever, they, whatever it is. Cellar size is, I just use my natural weight and I increase that weight by bouncing and it works. Now, if you want to do weight lifting or weight training, that's fine. Um, I think I've talked about that before too. If you do 30 seconds of cellar sizing in between each station, you can grow up to 26% faster. That's according to a study that's done by Dr. Larry Getman, PhD. And that we have a bodybuilder that's on our DVD, Cellar Size the Ultimate Exercise. He won three national championships incorporating cellar size with his weightlifting program. was blown away. He's one of my fans. I'm one of his fans. And he's a, he's a dynamic guy. His name's uh, Wade Lightheart. But um, yeah. Nothing, probably, and that's you're doing movements that might be irritating it. But neck issues, those are those, those are delicate issues, and depending on what you're doing, and I, that's what I'd really like. I need to know what kind of movements you're doing. The gentle moving up and down, and, and gently massaging, 
and pushing that circulation between those vertebral joints and those discs can help release the stress and tension, increase flexibility, promote healing, reduce inflammation. So that those are all good movements. Um, it can take time. What it's doing is exposing a weakness. So you might want to see a doctor or a chiropractor and and see what, what you're up against. And feel free to give me a call if, um, if I might be able to, to help. Okay. I oiled my cellar sizer with a three-in-one, but I'm still having noise on a few springs. What can I do? Bounce. <laughs> it's normal. You know, in fact... I wasn't trying to pick a fight with Bellicon at all, but they, they were trying to pick a fight with me um, several years ago when they, they made our unit sound really, really squeaky. Um, we actually had one person who claimed to work with them and said they'd put lemon juice on both ends of each spring so they would make it squeakier. Um, irrespective, the bungee cords can over time become squeaky and you can't oil them. But on the cellar sizer, I want you to listen to my unit because it's just like yours. And then we'll talk a little bit about how to uh, expedite that, get, getting rid of that squeaking as you're breaking in the cellar sizer. But listen to how squeaky this is. I don't know if you can hear anything. I'm talking and jumping side to side. It's not squeaky. When you first get a cellar sizer, the steel has rough edges on it and you start to bounce up and down, the steel is going across those rough edges and it's starting to smooth them out. And over time it can just become quieter simply by jumping on it. But if you put a drop of the three-in-one oil on it and you jump on it, what happens over time is that steel becomes very polished. As it becomes more and more polished, it breaks in and becomes quieter and quieter and quieter. And then you, you know, you don't, you know, I oil mine maybe once a year now, um, pretty close to that. And when you first start off, you may have to oil it initially the first time, jump on a little bit, oil it again, and then a few months later, do it again, and six months after that, do it again, and then it you, it just it gets this the space between oiling gets further and further and further apart, so that it, it just becomes a quiet, quiet unit. All right. Um, I hope that helps. How to tone up the arms faster. And that, again, that's doing the resistance movements. And I know we've talked about it before, but just, just pushing down and pulling up. I count one, two, three, four, and then down. One, two, three, four. And as you're doing that, you count up to 20. Two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And when you're done with your one arm, you're pushing down. So you're working the front part of the arm, but you're also working the back part of the arm. And then you just switch and do the other side. Um, that's a way to really tighten and tone and uh, also increase the strength of the arms, which again, um, the thing that Charles Atlas did. But you're adding more weight to it because you're cellar sizing. And how young can kids start? <laughs> uh, Brooklyn, how long were you? A year? Daxon was what? I, he was bouncing on it before he was walking. So we had him. That was my grandson. <laughs> and my daughter is the same way. Um, we would hold on to their hands and gently bounce them up and down. You know, I was telling a customer earlier today. We have uh, my grandson. I went over to my daughter's house, Jenna. Many of you know her from our, our website. Um, she's in the chat room often, and I went over to her house, and she's got a sunken living room, and the kitchen was up above, and they have railing on the side, and I walked in, and they've got a cellar sizer in the living room on the floor, and my grandson was holding on to the railing, standing over the cellar sizer, he jumped, I don't know, he's three, four years old. He jumps off the ledge, lands on the cellar sizer, heads for, does a full flip in the air, and lands on the beanbag chair several feet away. And I'm like, I, I, I was nervous. And 
Jenna grew up on the solar side. He, that guy is so incredibly coordinated. Um, he's been challenging his, his balance and, and timing and dexterity for years. There are things that he can do today are just are remarkable, re really remarkable. But um, yeah, start them off early. Start them off. I used to burp our children, bouncing them down on a solar It was a great way to burp them, but they had the benefit and so did I. So the movement up and down, children need that movement. They do it naturally when they stand up in a crib anyway, and they bounce up and down. They don't have balance. That's how they get their balance. They're moving fluid past the stirrup, the smallest bone of our ear, representing our vestibular balance, and they're Someone challenging asked that. how to know if you've broken a spring. How do you know if you've broken a spring? Well, part of the spring will be hanging down. If you've broken one. Yeah. And someone has a question about knee pain and if it's what kind of movements they should do for that. There's several approaches on the knee that I teach because the knee can't support itself. So knee problems, and we've talked a lot about this in our previous um, programs, knee problems, hip problems, shoulder problems, back problems are generally caused by weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint. Now the supporting muscles and ligaments that support the skeletal system are vitally important. If we don't have enough strength in those supporting muscles and ligaments, we get more pressure on the joint and we can lose the fluid between the joint and the pads and that, that's when we can get bone on bone. As we start to build up those supporting muscles and ligaments again, we're able to retain more fluid and very often those conditions and issues slowly over time begin to fade away. So standing on the solar sizer, keeping the back straight and then the knees, well we can start off always with the gentle baby bounce because this movement warms up the tissue and it starts the circulation going. We want to get that circulation going. So any movement we do, the lymph system helps to suck or pull that circulation between the bones and joints. So, so this is a, do this for you know, a couple minutes. And then by bending at the knee slightly, we can push down into the mat. As we're pushing down, we're working the whole front part of the knee. This is supporting this part of the knee, which is great. Um, very easy. You don't even have to lift your feet up off the mat, but you'll feel it. It's a, it's a, it's a great, great exercise. And then for the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, we simply stand up. Well, we can start off rocking side to side. This is a good movement here. And as we get stronger, we can hop side to side. And that's a great technique exercise too. And you just build up to it. I tell people, don't work hard on the sizer. Play on it. It'll work hard on you. And then you'll just naturally want to and be able to put more effort into it. So again, why work out when you can play in? Okay. I've heard to wait until six or older as the body still is developing and too much on the spine and brain. Is that true? Not on a cellar sizer. <laughs> We've never experienced that. Um, no, there, it's natural. Jumping on the couch, jumping on the bed, jumping up and down on the ground is more jarring, of course, than jumping on a cellar sizer because that jumping up and down um, on a hard surface, the jarring effect is what can be damaging. Cellar size eliminates up to seven eighths of the jarring. So you're not getting that jarring effect. You're simply getting the pumping effect and that's uh, stimulating up to 90% of brain activity. It's huge. Okay, which of the ultimate DVDs will I get if I order? Well, if you're doing it now during the holiday season, you're going to get the $40 DVD, which has got the personal trainer drop down menu that lists over 20 different specific movements that address knee problems, hip problems, back problems, shoulder problems, digestion, elimination, weight loss, circulation, muscle building, the natural facelift, opening up bronchial tubes and lungs, and quite a bit more. Okay. Um, Okay, I see two pictures of the DVD. One just you and the other with many people. Okay, there's many people on. Wow, where did you see that? <laughs> I thought we got rid of that one. Um, that was an old cover. And yeah, the, the, it's don't exercise cellar size. That's an old classic. You can get that still. That's 25, it's me 25 years ago when I was teaching cellar size. A lot of good material. But that's kind of what reignited the industry. And so we still make that available. It looks like a 25-year-old DVD, but 
I feel like a talking head. I'm just standing there telling people about the benefits and what we've experienced and different approaches. Um, it, and it's a lot, you know, it's less expensive. And you can get a downloadable version of that as well. Uh, seller size, the ultimate exercise is me in front of about 3,000 people and that's a live lecture and, and I'm working with the audience as well. So. I heard that seller sizing can help asthma. <laughs> Are you able to talk more about this? And that's just, you know, my grandfather had asthma really bad when he was young and he went out for track and field and his asthma, his lungs grew strong and didn't have any problems with it again. I think this cellar sizer is a weight, is opens up the bronchial tubes and the lungs simply by doing that. It's an exercise. It opens up those bronchial tubes and lungs. So. What do you do when you first get out of bed and jump on your cellar sizer? Not your actual workout, but just to get your lymph moving and wake up your body. And that's the most important technique that I teach is simply this moving up and down. Just like this. This moving up and down is the wake up call. When you stop to think about what all is involved, and this is the reason I think every single household, absolutely, especially with what we're dealing with today, needs to have a cellar sizer. It's the movement up and down that activates the lymph system, breaks up blockages, helps get rid of stress and tension, increases circulation, back flushes the valves, helps get rid of trapped blood proteins, helps reduce inflammation. It's the wake-up call for the entire body, the thyroid, the adrenals are all weightless, weight, weightless, weight. They're all being massaged over a hundred times a minute simply by moving up and down on this cellar sizer. And then there's a whole bunch of additional benefits, of course, but that's that just that gentle movement up and down is a wake up call. Um, it says, do you do a gentle jump for a few minutes or do you do the fast jog and boost your immunity? Now I do the gentle movement, always the wake up call first to get the body. I don't want to throw it into too much of a shock or um, initially. So it's, yeah, it's a gentle, it's, it's like warming up a car, the same principle. You're warming up the body, getting all the circulation going, and then, then you can go more intensely. Do we have any other questions, Brooklyn? Okay. Um, on the trifold cellar sizer, I will demonstrate which one I meant to have one tonight. I didn't bring it in here. Um, I could do it on this. Yeah. Can, can you see me all right? I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to break this down. You can see how I break this down too. So we've got our new monitor and many of you um, have ordered one and um, we're already back ordered. So I apologize for that, but they are a nice little simple monitor that goes in. You've got shows you the number of bounces even when you're doing the Jamba run. It keeps track of it. Amazing. It uses an oscillator. It's, uh, we filed a patent on this thing because what we have more we want to do with it. Um, but we also have, it uh, tells you the calorie burn. It tells you the total amount of time. And it has an intensity meter that goes up and down with colored light um, as well. Um, and of course, oh, let's just take it off. So I'm going to drop this down. Just took the balance bar off. Pretty easy. And then I'll put the rubber feet back on. And on a trifold cellar sizer, <clears throat> when you lay it down, can you see this all right, Bricky? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just grab the legs, I just fold them over. And again, when they're a brand new unit, those legs can be a little stickier. That's, that's okay. Um, then I just, I usually put my knee on the bottom, but you just bend over, pick it up, fold it in half, and then I grab here, I fold it into thirds. Now, if I had the carrying case with you, which I wish <laughs> I wish I did, you can put the cellar sizer now into the carrying case, and sometimes the springs on a new unit are stuck in an upward position. And so you say, hey, well, this is really tight. The can case is really tight. Well, if you take and with your fingers, you grab the actual mat and give it a little tug up, just a hard pull up and lay it over. You can lay the springs flat. And, you know, now they are because it's broken in. 
but when you lay those springs flat, um, it'll fit easier into the carrying case. So hopefully that, that helps a little bit. And then I always use the, I try to use the same two legs for the balance bar because just the nature of the balance bar rubbing against the legs is going to leave marks onto the legs. So and voila. Hopefully that helps because I know some people have had some issues with the balance bars and it doesn't have to be a, a challenge. But um, feel free again to call me if you have any questions. I want to thank you for participating tonight. I want to encourage each one of you to continue to be an example of light and love and hope and joy and to serve, you know, serve the God of joy every day. It's a choice. And the pursuit of happiness is exactly that. It's a pursuit. So we'll be tested. We'll be challenged. Pursue the happiness. Every day that you are on the Solarizer, you're successful. So you'll just continue in that journey. Enjoy the journey. And again, call us if we can be of any help and share it with those that you love and those that you care about. And thank you for sharing with me and being part of our Solarize family. God bless.